It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, after President Trump was criticized for a terrible response to Hurricane Maria, this morning he finally gave the people of Puerto Rico what they needed most, a bunch of tweets straight up calling them lazy. <laughs> Trump said the people of Puerto Rico, quote, want everything to be done for them. Then he told his caddy to repair his divot and drive him to the next hole. <laughs> Hey, Trump always said he was going to get things done faster than any other president. And now I believe him, because it took George W. Bush five years to get his Katrina. <laughs> Meanwhile, rapper Pitbull <laughs> transition, has loaned out his private jet to help rescue people in Puerto Rico. Wow, if only Donald Trump knew someone with a private jet. <laughs> How is the president of the United States worse at humanitarian aid than Pitbull? <laughs> And you know Pitbull was doing it while also featuring on four different tracks and hosting foam parties for Bud Light. <laughs> Trump is busy doing the real work, making excuses while half explaining what an island is. Just watch. This is an island surrounded by water, and big water, ocean water. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not a treacherous journey. It's Puerto Rico, not Skull Island. <laughs> Cruise ships full of retired ants go there all the time. I think Trump is working off one of those old sailor maps with sea monsters on it. After the mayor of San Juan criticized the government's Puerto Rican relief efforts, President Trump attacked her on Twitter, saying, the mayor of San Juan, who was very complimentary only a few days ago, has now been told by the Democrats that you must be nasty to Trump. <laughs> oh, really, Donald? You bitch. <laughs> was she nasty to you? How nasty? Are you shaking? You want to go smoke a Virginia Slim until your hand stops moving? <laughs> this isn't that complicated, man. It's hurricane relief. These people need help. You just did this for white people twice. <laughs> Do the same thing. Go tell Melania to put on her flood heels, get some <laughs> bottled water, some food, pack up some extra Atlanta Falcon Super Bowl t-shirts, and write them a check with our money, you cheap cracker. <laughs> In one month, you've mishandled Puerto Rico, DACA, the NFL. It's like whenever anybody darker than your golf pants has a problem, you're thinking, how can I make this worse? <laughs> Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price was forced to resign yesterday after he was caught using almost a million dollars in taxpayer money to fly on private jets. Yeah, that's cool you resigned and all, but how about you pay us back the money? You can't walk into a store... <laughs> You can't walk into a store and do a million dollars worth of damage and then be like, okay, I get it, I'll leave. <laughs> no, man, pay us. Besides, you can make that million back when you publish your memoir, Oh, the Places You Go in a <laughs> Government-Funded Private Jet. <laughs> it's a good book. Well, it's a long title, but a great book. <laughs> this week, President Trump also continued his criticism of NFL players who protest during the national anthem. I guess Trump thought, well, CNN and MSNBC already hate me. How can I get ESPN to hate me, too? I'm worried it's not going to stop with ESPN, though. Next, he's going to tweet at Nickelodeon that they need to show us Dora's papers. <laughs> the commissioner of the NBA said that he expected players to follow league rules and stand during the national anthem. Okay, the NBA is what, 130, 140% black? <laughs> What exactly are you going to do if they all decide to kneel? Have, have a game between the New York Porzingis and the San Antonio Ginobili? <laughs> now, how'd this guy even get to be the commissioner of the NBA anyway? He looks like somebody put a suit on a sex toy. <laughs> you know, it's hard to ask black people to respect the flag when we know that this country cares more about it than us, OK? And we love the flag. It's just that white guys really love the flag. <laughs> The only people I've seen love their flag more than white dudes are gay guys and the Bloods. <laughs> and it's not personal. You just got to understand, there's 50 stars on the American flag. But black people, we only feel welcome in, like, eight. <laughs> Some of them stars we still don't know too much about. That's why if you ask a black person, does he love America, we'll be like, hey, I love Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm still reserving judgment on the Dakotas. <laughs> 
Angela Merkel was re-elected as Chancellor of Germany for a first, fourth term and is now the longest serving leader in Europe. Here to comment is German Chancellor Angela Merkel. <laughs> Are you happy that you won? Yes, I, of course I'm happy. Is that not coming across? I've been working on my smile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. No, it seems a little tortured, but yeah. <laughs> but, to be honest, Colin, part of me was hoping to retire, even though the average retirement age in Germany is 87, <laughs> at which point you transition into manual labor. Also, my victory was a bit bitterschwitz because the far, far right party won seats in our parliament for the first time since, you know. <laughs> what did you say? You know, the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Nazis, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you seem a little stressed out, Chancellor. Oh, thank you. No. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm worried about you. It just seems like you're dealing with a lot. Well, tell me about it. It's like everyone in Europe is having this rowdy slumber party, and I'm the mean mom who has to send them straight to bed without their radishes. Ugh. Do you have any allies left? No allies. It's mostly Axis these days. <laughs> except, except, yeah, yeah. except for that French hunk, Macron. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> but get me some diaphragms, am I? <laughs> I think of him and I'm like, Obama who? <laughs> Is it working? Am I making you jealous? <laughs> Leave, Michelle. <laughs> oh, okay. I can tell you're still a little hung up on President Obama, huh? I know. I must accept that it's over and move on. So I decided to get rid of everything in my house that reminds me of him. <laughs> a love letter that I wrote to him but never sent. <laughs> to whom it may concern. <laughs> I respect you. Tepid regards, Merkel. <laughs> a CD I made for you but was too shy to give you. It's a mix of all the songs by Creed. <laughs> a picture of us at the G20 summit. I was cold and you let me borrow your jacket. Turns out we were wearing the same suit. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop following him on social media so I wouldn't be tempted to slide into his DMs. <laughs> One night I had one too many schnapps. One. And I sent him a picture of my bare knee. <laughs> He wrote back, is that a peeled potato? Wow. It's, it's got to be hard to go from Obama to Trump. I heard Trump didn't even call you. He waited four days to congratulate you. Dis muta fucha. <laughs> four days. Four days, he waits. Which in Germany is like 20 business days. <laughs> Finally, I, I sent him a tiny email. I was like, are you going to say anything? And he was like, oh, sorry, just saw this, didn't have my phone. And I was like, that feeling when? He doesn't text you back, but you see him tweeting. Well, Chancellor, I hope you find some time, relax, and have fun. I mean, uh, Halloween's right around the corner. Ah, yes, 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 I already know what my costume would be. I would be going as slutty Angela Merkel. <laughs> That's me, but with a hat. Angela Merkel, everyone. <laughs>